Hey guys, it's Michelle with Monarch Graphics and Design, and this is just kind of a, another short video, a follow-up of the pencil sketch video that I um, am going to upload at the same time as this one. So if you did want to put this on a t-shirt, you would want to delete the background, but instead of just using your eraser tool, you want to add a layer mask. So we go down here on this little panel down here and we click on this one and we click add a layer mask. Then we take our brush tool and we use it like an eraser tool. And you want to make sure you're on black. If you're on white, it adds it back. So so if you wanted to delete the background, I'm going to zoom in here for a second. If you wanted to delete the background and then you decide, oh, I did that a little too much and you already are past the control alt Z part, you go to, you switch to your white and then you paint it back in. Okay, so let's leave it on um, black here for a second though. And I'm not gonna get, a, get into the hair and all of that because that can take a long time. But you just use your brush and it works like an eraser. Okay, and then I'm gonna crop off my arm here too. So I'm going to go ahead and crop it right here. And the reason you're using a layer mask is so that you're not actually disturbing your actual photo. So that way if you um, decide you don't like this or you did something to it that you, you know, don't like, you can just you know your original photo is not damaged see like I don't know how I'd play with this with my arm and all that. It might look a little funny with just his face there. But this is why I can add a layer mask because now I can play with it and I'm be like, well, that kind of looks funny. His head's just kind of hanging there. So then I can switch it over to the white and um paint this back in, paint my arm back in. And then just kind of add in whatever I want. And if I add too much, like I just added too much right there, switch it back over to the black and take it out. Because if you remember, for t-shirts, you don't really want a white box. I mean, I'm sure there's instances where having a white box around your image would probably work. But for the most part, you don't. Um, I can see here, I probably need to add a little bit more on my elbow. But like I said, I'm not making this perfect. I'm just kind of showing you how to do it. And then, you know, like I said, you would, you would want to really zoom in, use your brackets to make, um, oh, I'm on white, maybe I'm black. Zoom in and to really get in between the hair. You know, make it smaller by using the left bracket. So, you know, you can get in there and get as detailed as you want. 
and then you know you don't want to make it look like it's so that's how you would um, delete a background if you wanted to delete one by adding a layer mask and I'm gonna go ahead and just add it all back in so there you go that's how you use a layer mask black to delete and white to add all right I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up check out my website in the description link below be sure to subscribe to all my videos most of them are t-shirt designs I just did a couple um, quick photo ones here because I was going through a book so anyway I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next week.